Fish on, baby. So uh, we're we're heading to go see Tony Torres at his uh, boat shop, getting some work done on the boat. Some scratches I noticed that uh, didn't really know the time it happened. Kind of know how it happened, but you know definitely the uh, bumpers or something wasn't set right. So uh, I want to keep a, a good looking boat. You know, in the past I've had several boats that. You know, no matter what, it was just a fishing boat. You just hose it down, put it up, and, and go on with your business. But take, I really like my new boat, so I'm going to try to keep it looking nicer a little longer. I'm sure there's going to be a time where I don't mess with it as much as uh, I am now. So we'll go check them out, get some get some uh, work done to it, and uh, hopefully I'll show you the guys the, the results. I also asked him if he makes custom uh flats boats you know 15 16 foot flat boat that can run super skinny you know three inches of water or whatnot he says he can so i'm also going to talk to him about that he, he wants to manufacture some of those and make molds and and uh maybe maybe have a a new new style boat out there that everybody would want to get their hands on so i don't know maybe it's something something that might uh be interesting for me to to help, to help him out, him. advertise, and maybe some people get their hands on some of these holes too as well. Or maybe even get into uh, him having a turnkey boat for you guys. So that'll be interesting. So uh, we'll be talking to him about that. All right, so we're here exclusive. Go, go get with Tony. So uh, let him check out some of my damage here. I guess it's really not damaged, but it just some stuff needs to be fixed. So, have you shown him all this stuff right here? No. All right, Tony, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up? Kevin Wingate with uh, Dirty Bay Fishing. Yes, sir. Tony. It's cool, man. So, uh, I can I show you some yes, of my sir. damage, and we can see what. Uh, Let's see what you got. Yeah. This right. side, this side looks pretty good. Nice um, thank you. Maybe you have, after this, you can come around and just see what other little areas you might can touch up or whatnot. Okay. But uh, what you got? so I, I don't know if the camera can see this, but uh, yes. we can. Um, tell me what you think and what you would would do to this boat, so my my uh, viewers, my Dirty Bay angler guys, can. Uh, See the stuff that you you do. Okay, that way we can get them over here and get them looking like brand new again. Cool. And so you, well, you, just, is this, that into the paint, or you think no, that's the this, clear coat? This didn't went all the way to the to the fiberglass. Okay. It just lightly scratches. What we can do in here, uh, we can sand them off all the way, you know, until until they get until we get rid of them mm -hmm. and come back and polish and then put about three layers of compound. Uh, then polish and then watch it and it'll look like nothing okay. ever happened to it good deal so uh, this, this stuff doesn't really have a clear coat does it no it's, it's just really a paint it's so, it, it, coat and and poly and a little compound okay and okay that's and, what it is and the same color and everything because it, you're it's gonna look like nothing ever happened to them oh great great okay good um is this an easy fix too so when you you know guys that have you know issues with their boats with gel coats yeah this looks like something rubbed it or a small patch is that like a that. is that necessarily like a buff or yes. something that you do okay because yes, uh definitely get it fixed for you got a lot of boat buddies so you know um Perfect. i'm i'm local um you're local for me are you in Baytown? yes sir okay. or my bellevue area um okay. but you know we're bay area dirty bay fishing cool. you know so Same we area. we can get some get some people that that might have some some cosmetic issues okay um I'll show them the the work that you do here, and uh, 
they might find themselves a new boat guy. That's awesome, man. So, uh, give us a little walk of uh, some of the stuff you're doing. Let me show you what we got going on right now. All right. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to come out with a with a, my own liner boat. Uh huh. I'm trying to design a, a good running boat, and I'm, I'm starting with a center console. Uh huh. And a riser box. Okay. This one I'm still working with the lines I want to do. You know. I, I so you're like you're getting set up for a mold. Yeah. This is a plug. This yeah. This is gonna be a plug to uh -huh. make a mold. Okay. But I'm still working on the lines. I want to make this wall make it look like like round, kind mm -hmm. of like bubble, all the way across. Okay. From this side, I kind of started the line in the front. So I want to start it square and over here. How you, you see? Contour how you with that. Yes. From here, I want to bring it in. And the bottom line, I want to bring it from nothing. Kind of blend it in right here on top. <clears throat> and come up with a line over here. So these line of boats is, are, are going to be 100% composite? All 100% composite. Foamed interior, like yes, all basically foam unsinkable. Unsinkable. Uh... I really trying to make this and the box look like the mouth of a shark mm -hmm. looking at it from a side by side. Okay, okay. This will be the riser box. The and that box. that'll look nice if you do the two tone, like you have a good yes. white deck and you exactly. have that matching. Exactly. That'll look great. That'll and, look great. And, and I have, and I'm putting a, a, a front light one here. Okay. But it's gonna be separately. Mm -hmm. So it'll be optional. If they want a right uh, a light one in front of the console, we'll have the mold. Mm -hmm. And or yes. or a rack for just a nice chest. Exactly. So what what would this what is this hole here for? This, An access? What, what I did it used to be square. Uh huh. I guess to put a cushion and stuff. Uh huh. So what I did I cut it off and I'm gonna make it round. Oh, okay. So what I'm trying to do over here as well, on this side, I'm trying to get rid of this corner. I really don't like it. Okay. So if I bring it in and follow this line. Uh huh. So bring this line here and this line right here and just blend in all this and bring it all the way to the bottom. Okay, okay. Good deal. Also, this is the Kinder console. Uh, a lot of, I, I used to, on the, on the past, I used to have a lot of customers that uh, they were having issues whenever, you know how this one comes with the cooler rack mm -hmm. and you sit down and drive and it's, yeah. it's pretty low. So a lot of customers, mm -hmm. hey man, there's no way you can lift it up. Four make it higher. Five, make it higher. More so, modern. Yes. So yes, sir. before, I used to build just a little riser box. Mm -hmm. And we have to remove the console out of the way. And yeah. Everything. So how about, so I go, how about if I just come up with a new, you know, new style, make, yeah. a new style uh -huh. and extend it and then you <clears> have to not, do no boxes, no color matching or anything. And all said and done, you'll, yes. you'll be back 100% composite. 100% composite. That's good. And That's then good. you just call me, hey, Tony, uh, I want to console this color and it'll be perfect size, the perfect height, and mm -hmm. you can get a, a gas tank under the console if you like. And then you can have a regular style linen puzzle, which is, this is a regular. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Hmm, that's good. That's good. So what do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think uh I think I'm still working on the on the lines in this one. I mm -hmm. really don't like them. Let me move it around. Yeah, that's uh I really don't uh, like this line. I really trying to get rid of the corner. If I, I think it being more straight, yes. Would 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 be more contoured with this. Exactly. Um allowing like depending on the size boat you have, you know, like we were talking about the flats boat and yes. having having this more of a standard like closed off to where people can add what they need to exactly based by uh custom like hey i only need one gauge for fuel because i'm yes. gonna have electronics that's gonna have everything for me and you here know? i want to close it off uh -huh. on the mall yeah and if they like and then we can make it if they want to put a big old starboard hatch mm -hmm. plastic hatch mm -hmm. or just have the open like this or even one of those little uh the sea foam uh, pads where you're and, and, leaning, and, yes. Because my, you know, my my Nautic Star has that. That'd be yes. that'd be cool, even if it's even for like a small flats yes. boat. You're exactly. a single guy and you're just kind of cruising. Exactly. You got something. That'd be that'd be a good uh, touch. I think that would be great. Yeah, but we are trying to get there, man, little by little, and we're gonna you know make, gonna make it happen. It's gonna take a little time, but it's well, gonna well be... you know, Dirty Bay Fishing's here to uh, to help in in any way. Um, work. Heck, if you. Uh, get get something going we'll we'll definitely film the progress and and Perfect. 
maybe uh, have have these viewers here see what you have to offer and, and see the steps of, of the quality of make that you have. Yes, sir. And heck, we might get that thing in the water and actually have uh, go catch some fish yes. on it. And then we'll there you go. That's we'll the start best. With that Nordic star right there, you know, uh -huh. and that we can show people out there. And you know, I guarantee they're gonna love the work. Listen to me now. Believe me later. There you go. All right. All right. All right. You're all done, huh? Oh yeah. That's good. It's gone. It's gone. Like it had hadn't been there before. Well, guys, she looks pretty. All right, so show us, uh, show us what you did. So, how many times did you have to sand that? Well, I started with six hundred. Uh huh. Uh, we did it all with uh, wet sanded. Uh huh. Six hundred, and then after uh, we did the six, we went back with eight hundred. Okay. Then we did a thousand, twelve hundred, up to fifteen hundred. Okay, it looks and beautiful, man. Looks we good. We did two coats of uh, compound. The 3M is a tooling compound. We also did uh, another uh, two coats of that uh, polished wax. Mm -hmm. And and then we just went. So with, without the the polished wax, it um it still looked good. You just yes making sure it's uh exactly. protected, right? Exactly. Good deal. Good deal. Well, guys, uh, tell me, tell us your your boat shop name again. Well, this is exclusive boat repair. Exclusive boat repair, guys. Hey, this is Tony. Tony. Tony um, yeah, he's he's a uh, he's in the Dirty Bay Angler Group. So, uh, if y'all need boat boat repair needs, just uh, hit me up or or do a shout out to Tony. He'll take care of you guys. So, uh, another another good job, well done. Appreciate it, bud. Thank you, sir. Uh huh.